Welcome protégés to your first video tutorial to learn MATLAB. If you haven't already done so, make sure to watch our MATLAB overview video to see what we'll cover in this video series since there will be multiple multiple t tutorials to get you up to speed on how to use this uh, toolkit. So in this particular tutorial we'll, go, we'll give you a thorough overview of the envi environment or graphical user interface or GUI for short. So here's the here's the layout of MATLAB. You can see you have a, a current folder, a command window, and a workspace. So in your current folder, it just displays what what scripts you have. So a .m is is your script file. Gives you the directory path, so you can go back back a folder. Takes you back to the main. You can use this up one level directory, or you can even browse to to a different a different folder. This command window is where you can input certain calculations or type in commands, and it also shows you output errors. So, for example, we can have a variable x equals one and here you can see that it shows up in your workspace if we go ahead and click on click on that variable it'll this it'll show us that it's set equal to one you can see that the variable is a matrix a one by one matrix which is how all the variables are essentially stored in MATLAB So you can run the CLC command to clear your command window. Also you can add, you can dock other things to your environment. And to do that you go to layout. Command history is a popular one and instead of pop up you can say docked. So you can see that the command history window has now been docked to your environment and you can see all the previous commands that you've that you that you've ran so on under this home tab you can start start a new script we'll go over scripts in a tutorial to come in this series you can import data you can save your workspace when your scripts get more complicated you'll start to fill up this workspace which has all your variables and if you want to save save those variables for later use you'll use this this command you can also set a new variable so instead of doing x equals one you can hit this new variable here which is harder so I'm not sure why you'd want to do this way but anyways you can rename this make sure Oh, we have to name it something else. Make sure you hit enter after you change it. You can see that y equals 0 now, but we can also change this to say 2. So now y equals 2. It's x out of this. You can also open a variable, so x, y. Again, you can either click on it over here in the workspace, or you can go to this open variable here. You can also clear clear your command history here so you can clear your command window or the command history you can also use like I showed you CLC to clear the command window and then to get rid of command history you hit you can hit this say yes and you'll see that your command history has now been deleted another cool thing is under this plots tab so you can do a bunch of different plots here so let's make a quick array or vector let's use a new variable z equals one 
1 to 100. This will create a vector from 1 to 100 in increments of 1, which is this number. So I'll click, I'll click on the variable so you can see it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, as you can see. Then let's do sine of that. As you can see, I didn't put a, a semicolon at the end of this expression. So that's why I output all of the numbers here. If you want to avoid that, just put the semicolon at the end. I'll clear the command window. And if we want to plot that, we click on click on the on the variable and then hit plot and it'll give you a nice plot. But I'll show you how to generate these in in your scripts in a later tutorial. So that's pretty much it for an overview of the environment. If you like what you saw, click subscribe or leave a comment or suggestion. Thanks for watching.